So the first uh, the first question is about не говори. So the first question is about the last season. What was your mistake when you are preparing your team uh, to the Zeefeld? Well, <laughs> I think it was uh, not a big mistake, but uh, yeah, it's very easy. We do a, we do a little too much hard training. Uh, in the training camp just before the, before the World Championship. And, uh, yeah, we think we need a little bit more, but it was, uh, it was too much. And, and then there was uh, small tired when we come to the World Championship. Sergei Ustugov uh, is always injured when he trained out of the group. So what do you think? Uh, is it right to... Um, uh, make as he wish. No, it's uh, it's not like you say. No, it's, uh, it's another way. So, um, for example, this year it was until now it was really good, no problem, good training, uh, all okay. But uh, then uh, from Davos he go a little bit earlier back here to Tumen because his friend was uh, wedding. And, and then he was uh, around two, two and a half weeks here for training. He do a lot of training, good training. But uh, then it was two, two and a half weeks without uh, physio, without uh, um, yeah, special physio. And he needs, he needs every day a good, good uh, physio because his body has a lot of problems. <laughs> And uh, so it was uh, small too much and, and now it was a small uh, thing what happened also two years ago during to the ski on his back and uh, so this uh, problem starts small again here so it's, it's not a big problem but it's a problem with the muscle in the back. This physio uh, he have to do during his uh, career, sport career uh, he have to do it every day or how? Yeah, min minimum every second day. So it's, it's normal when you do a lot of training, uh, your body needs a need, uh, good, uh, good physio, good stretching, all this around the training. And for this is really good, but uh, when it's not possible, then it was uh, then this problem can start again by him. And so, no, until now it was really all, all okay, but uh, yeah, especially here one day before competition, it's not nice uh, because he won't start here, but uh, it was not possible for him to, to start. But now we. Tomorrow we go to, to Oboof and so now we have physio, doctor and I think it will be, uh, it will be all okay in some days. Do you have um, athletes in your group with the same problems? No, not the same, but it's, uh, it's totally different. So some guys have problems with the back, some guys more, more with the legs and uh, with the arms, so it's, it's totally different. So it's, but but uh, back is it's, uh, it's special by the by the athletes when we do a lot of, of training it can be a, a big problem. Do you feel uh, difficult uh, with the Sergey while you're working with him while you train with him? Ah, he is a difficult uh, person. No, he's not difficult. Yeah, it's uh, it's. Uh, Easy guy. I must. He in the training. He he do all what what we what we planned. What uh, what we think. I I speak a lot of of uh, about the training with him because for me it's it's very important to have a feedback uh, and also what the athlete thinks. And. Uh, for this, he is, he is very easy. So, but once again, he he do a lot of training, and, and his body is it's, uh, maybe not so strong that the bodies from other athletes. So, 
but, but uh, when his body is okay, then he is really strong. So uh, he have to synchronize his wishes with his physical abilities. Yes, of course. So it's uh, it's like always. Uh, strong, good athletes they want sometimes more. Uh, then it's uh, possible, so it's, uh, they always try to go on the limit, but uh, it's, uh, <laughs> they must know when, when, when it's uh, training and rest, it's, uh, it's, uh, they must know when, when they need rest, when, when the body gives a sign that it's, it's too much maybe. So you teach Alexander Lehkov? Of, um, for this um, ability, and now you do the same with Ustugov? Yes, I, I try. So it's, yeah, yeah, uh, it's different uh, uh, guys, different uh, character. Uh, so I never saw an yeah, athlete before video, than Alexander Lekov who can do so much training. So it's yes, not so much problems with, with his body, yeah, but and, um, he's very, very hard for himself in the training. And uh, Ustugov can do, can do the same, but once again, his body gives sometimes signs, so it's, now it's too much. Uh, so you lose uh, Belarukova for one season. Are you waiting for her comeback? Yes, I, of course. I, she is uh, yeah. very important for our group. She yeah, is uh, really, really uh, strong, young athlete, and she knows what she wants. It's, uh, she has a very strong uh, character, very high motivation, and. Uh, um, yeah, it's it's really nice to work yeah, with her. Yeah, it's really nice to I hope it yeah, will be <laughs> very soon that yeah, for next year, next year that she come year back. Year. Anastasia Sidova trained one season without your group, and what do you think? Uh, what he achieve and uh, what he lose uh, when she do not train with you? I, I think she uh, lose not so much. So her father do. Uh, Another training like like we or like me, but uh, she uh, she knows that uh, special for for the power for the strange she must do more and uh, this she understand and she now she's uh, working for this uh, and uh, yeah, I think she's on a on a good way and uh, so last year it was good season for her. Only uh, World Championship, it was uh, before World Championship, she was sick and her shape was not good on the World Championship, but uh, when you under the top 10 in the overall World Cup, it shows that she, she can be really strong. Uh, Anna Nichevska trained with you for one season, so do you feel um, her potential, um, her limits, do you feel her as an athlete? Oh, Anna is uh, not the first year, so uh, two years ago she she comes uh, sometimes with our group for uh, training camp, preparing to the ski and, and also Olympic Games. She was uh, together with, with us, so I, I know her since two years very well. And uh, I must say, especially in skating, she can be she, she can be really strong, and I'm sure she can be top six something in the, maybe more in the, in the World Cup in skating and we know she has problems in the classic uh, technique but uh, we work very hard for, for this technique problems but uh, it's not so easy when you more than 25 years old then uh, it's, it's very hard to change something so but she's very motivated and uh, I think uh, she needs maybe one year more to, to become more stable. And this is the, the most goal what, what we have with her. So Natalia Nipreva won uh, everything uh, with a big uh, gap. So she's really strong or it's a speciality? So, uh, 
I do a question a little bit more. So on these competitions, we see that she is really on a big gap between her and other Russian ladies. Is it a speciality of the training process of your group that you are not so well now due to training plan or she, Natalia, really strong? First, uh... Natalia is really strong. Natalia, I am конечно, very сильно. impressed oh, yesterday, today, and uh, вчера, first uh, первое, she looks strong, she looks your technique, you know, it's really good, and uh, I think my, my goal is not so far like, like it seems today or yesterday, uh, because we I don't know what, what uh, Natalia do before, but uh, we, we prepare not special this, this competition. Uh, so it's for me it's not new that uh, also in the last years we have not the best results in this competition. Uh, for me it's a uh, this competition it's a very good training, but it's, it's not uh, very important. So we have. Maybe we take a small other Может way than the other groups. Uh, what do you, uh, what do you like to say about Alexander Bolshanov? Would you like to train him? Also, Alexander Lehkov is really impressed about Alexander. Yes, of, of course. When you when you can train an uh, athlete like uh, Alexander Bolshanov, then. It's for every coach, I think, a uh, good uh, experience. And, uh, but uh, he's very young, he's very strong. And uh, I think uh, athletes like Alexander, you find every 20 years, I think. It's a really, really big talent. And, uh, we, we, in Russia, we can be really happy uh, that we have athletes like this. And, uh, for, for other athletes, uh, it's a good motivation to, to see uh, what he do and, and uh, we try to, to uh, fight with him and, and uh, come on the same level, but uh, he is at the moment, he's, I hope he will be for the future also like this. And uh, once again, it's uh, for, for Russian uh, ski sport, it's, uh, it's really nice to, to have a guy like this and uh, it's great motivation for us. Uh, what is the most difficult athlete, athlete in your coach career? Oh. <laughs> Alexander Lekov. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, no, yeah, he's a very, very oh, special guy. Very and and for me, it was uh, when he asked me to, to help him in 2011. Um, it was. Uh, absolutely uh, new uh, experience uh, for me and uh, mm. when when he come more and more stronger uh, 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 then it was more and more, more, and more hard to, to train with him because uh, when he when he come better and better then he wants more and more and more and, and for him it's, it was like this you must more break to take a break for him that mm -hmm. he uh, uh, fall uh, not on the limit. So um, once again, it, I, nev I never saw an athlete like him that he was in the training so motivated and, and do, uh, I can say nobody also now in my group can train so much like, like this guy because he was really hard uh, against himself and he has a big big motivation to become Olympic champion and I'm really happy for him that, that he can do this and uh, because uh, he do a lot a lot of training for this and uh, yeah it was it was for me also very interesting great experience and I'm, I'm really happy that I was uh, some years can work together with him. Uh, now you communicate with him yes uh, 
I think every week we, we spoke a little bit and because uh, he's training every day <laughs> or he tried to do something every day and uh, sometimes he asks, oh, what do you think? And, uh, so he, he is he's, uh, again or he's in the sport uh, and, and uh, so he likes the sport and he's very interesting uh, when uh, what we do in the training and what happened with the athletes and, and uh, when we have uh, good results then he's the first who call and, and say wow super I'm happy for this and, and uh, we have for example we have, a, we have a whatsapp group and uh, and he is still again in our group and uh, he know all what we do and he, he answer every day and so it's uh, no because we for me also important that, that uh, he is in in our group and uh, bring a motivation from outside and, and push a little bit the other athletes and no it's uh, we have a good good contact with him is Elena Vel be insist on uh, to increase the size of your group because your group is quite big yes <laughs> so I, I I try many times to explain that well, it's, it's, it's hard to work for me uh, with this big group because my group is it's a uh, woman and men and also I have uh, distance and sprint so it's, uh, it's uh, not so easy for, for me to to work uh, with this big group but uh, yeah, for me, m sometimes I cannot <laughs> say no. <laughs> when uh, when uh, Elena say, oh, please take this athlete or this athlete. And, uh, but, uh, but she has a really good feeling for, uh, for athletes, which group is the best for, for this athlete. And, uh, I must say, we must be very happy that we have Elena as a president of the Federation, but also uh, that she knows all about athletes. She has a very good feeling for, for the athletes. And uh, yeah, most of the time she makes make the, the right decision. So it's, uh, and for this, uh, our uh, success in the uh, in the last two or three years is also a big work from Elena. What do you feel about uh, that in national team we have uh, two main groups and one U23 from Igor Sorin? It uh, makes um, like a competition inside the national team and uh, maybe it um, over train the athlete inside the groups no I, I think not no, over train but it's, it's I think it's good to have a uh, small competition uh, inside the uh, national team so uh, now at, at the moment we are happy with the main team that we have I think 10 10 12 athletes who can who can start in the World Cup so it's uh, it's not easy to <laughs> to take a place in the World Cup and uh, it's uh, for each athlete. It's a uh, it's a big motivation to take a place. And, uh, you know, when when you can start in the World Cup, then uh, most of the athletes, I think, minimum top twenty, top fifteen by the men, and so we are in a really good situation. And uh, especially with, with uh, older athletes, with young athletes, so it's, uh, I think it's a good, good uh, situation. Um, what do you think? Uh, could we speak about the team tactic uh, on the race uh, when we have uh, two, three different groups, mini groups? Yeah, this is uh, one point what uh, what we can do better, 100%. But, uh, at the end, uh, every athlete fight for his, his result. And, uh, for example, Tour de Ski and like this big events, sometimes it will be, it will be better when you have a good tactic. But yeah, it's not easy when, 
when every yeah, athlete yeah, fight for his best the place the and, uh, so and so also when you have different groups. So this is one point what, what we can do yeah, better. Uh, do you like uh, to work with Russian athletes? Yes, I like it very yeah, much. Yeah, so um, it's uh, sometimes with yeah, the yeah, communication it's, it's uh, not, not easy, uh, but in my group most of them uh, speak a good, good level of English and they understand all what, I, what we speak. Uh, and uh, for me it's a uh, nice work, it's, uh, it's most of them it's uh, good and easy work because they are really motivated, no, want good results, but it's like like in, in every team, как, other nations, you have also athletes, uh, they, they can do better. And, uh, it's it's uh, like always, when, when you will be a winner, then you must be, you uh, must uh, want Win. And when you not want this, then it's not possible. So, and uh, the best athletes, they, they want to win, they want good results. But we have also some athletes, they don't understand, don't want, I, I'm not sure, but uh, um, they, they are not like, like the best. But it's, it's in I work in uh, yeah. three yeah. different yeah. nations yeah. and it's, it's in every nation the same. Say honestly, the salary in Russia, you receive uh, more than you, um, uh, pro, uh, for example, uh, can receive in other teams, could receive? No, it's, uh, yeah. it's totally the same. It, uh, so it's, uh, for example, uh, last, last year I have uh, good uh, Good uh, oh, proposal. proposal from uh, other nation. The money was uh, nearly the same, but uh, I must I must say uh, I I can't say for for example for Yulia, for Sergey, for Nastya. Okay, so bye bye. I go to another nation. Uh, because they gave me uh, 1,000 euro more or something, and because I cannot speak to the, this athletes, which I like uh, to work with them and have uh, good and bad results. And <laughs> but uh, no, I, I like this. And last year it was not possible for me to, to, uh, to change for another match. And, and it will be also the next uh, two, two, three years I will not change because uh, I like this, this work. Uh, do you have a progress in uh, Russian language study? Uh, do you have uh, a situation when you have to speak something in Russian language but you are not able to say because you don't know? Yes, I have. Yeah. Uh, I, for me, I want uh, to speak more uh, Russian, but uh, for me it's very, very hard to learn. So I'm from West Germany and I don't have Russian language in the school. And, uh, I think I understand. I think I understand a lot of uh, what they speak because sometimes they are really surprised that <laughs> that I understand what they speak. Uh, but um, I was. It was one two times when I I, I tried to uh, make a meeting to speak in uh, in Russian language, but then I must I must learn. 30 minutes before I must learn <laughs> for the meeting and uh, no for, for this I'm not happy that, that I cannot speak more so. uh, what do you like most in Russia and what, what is the most positive and what is the most negative part of the Russian most most positive is uh, the very very friendly people in Russia so it's it doesn't matter where, where I come, if it's Kumein or Moscow or Khanti Madzis, Malinovka, all the places uh, where I was, it was very, very friendly people and uh, for this I, I like this very much, so it's, uh, 
it's nice in this big country come to different places and, and see see uh, this uh, big country but uh, I want in the future I want to see more uh, for example Kamchatka or some places mm -hmm. I saw only a uh, lot of pictures but uh, I, I want to uh, visit these places also and uh, for me it's the uh, most negative, <laughs> it's, it's my personal opinion, <laughs> it's, uh, I think uh, in the sport, because I, I, s I see what happens in the sport, <laughs> sport system, Russian sport system, I think uh, it's the life in Russia, it's like uh, when you come to Moscow, uh, to the city, it's uh, like, like in uh, Berlin and uh, maybe New York and all the big cities. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you come to some sport organizations in Russia, uh, then it's, uh, it's like, I think maybe, I don't know exactly, but maybe uh, 20 years ago. So the, the, the sport system, it's, uh, it looks for me, I'm not sure, but it looks for me that it's, it's working uh, 20 years behind the real time. And I, I think this, I hope it will be much, much better than in the future. And once again, we are, we are really happy that we have a president like Elena Weibe, uh, who looks, who looks uh, from another side and she do, she try to do uh, better work, like some uh, sport organizations. Uh, are you interested in the politics of uh, e external politics? I mean, in Germany, in the world. I'm very interested in politics, yeah, and uh, uh, I look, I try to to watch uh, all news. I read a lot of newspapers every day, and um, for me, it's it's very interesting to to watch what happens around the world, and uh, yeah, it's. The situation, uh, it's, it's, for me, it looks not, not good what, what happened on, on uh, some places no, around the world. For example, in Syria, or, or not so far happened before in, uh, in on the Balkan with uh, Serbia, Montenegro, and all this. And now it's much better, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think we have. We are happy that we stay in the sport, and we have we a, a good life in the sport, good work, sport, but when you look around the world, then it's a lot of places where it's, it's really shit, I can say. Uh, let's imagine that uh, Vladimir Putin uh, lead uh, Germany. Uh, what uh, will happen? Oh, I think... I know that uh, a lot of people in, in Russia uh, at the moment, think when you have look for America with Mr. Trump and, and for Russia with Vladimir Putin, then much more people like Vladimir Putin because uh, we have a good relationship with, uh, with Russia, with, uh, with for example, Gerhard Schröder. Uh, Schröder, Gerhard Schröder. Schröder. Ah, Schröder. Schröder. <laughs> and uh, and um, I think it will be for me <laughs> when I when I see this big country. So it's it's not easy to have. Uh, I will not say control, but you, you, it's not easy to, to make a good work for the, for this whole people in this big country. So it's, uh, it's, it's much more difficult to, to make a good job for this big country than for the small Germany. So it's, it's much more easy. Are you a kind person? Kind, what is kind? Kind, good, good, kind, uh, soft, so. I don't know. <laughs> you must ask my wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope. I, I, I try, um, especially for for my athletes, to be 
24 hours per day uh, to give the best and uh, for me it's uh, very hard when athletes have not good results <laughs> it's uh, because then I think for me oh sh shit what what we what I do wrong so it's, it's not not I think what the athletes do wrong it's more that I, I look I think more what I do wrong and maybe it's a mistake for me but uh, I take it very hard for me for myself when athletes have not from my group have not good results then I, I, I maybe I think too much what, what uh, we must change or what can we do better uh, what uh, should happen that you start screaming on a person it's easy when it, uh, for me is a screaming is screaming. Oh. oh when when uh, when we have not a good discipline when, uh, so it's it starts with the time when we have uh, training when it's 9 30 then it must be start 9 29 and not 9 30 so because when you have a big group you must have a good organization and, and when when we not good organized then then i start to cry and and when i see that uh, all stuff around in my group do not a good work and or not motivated then then i i, I start to to cry and, uh, because my opinion is we, we work for the athletes and all staff must do every day 24 hours the best for good results because we must help the athletes. And uh, if we see on a normal life, not a sport, uh, sport life, but a normal life, what make you angrier when you start uh, speaking loudly? <laughs> well, I think it's the same. When, uh, when when I have maybe I meet with some friends or something and, and I must wait 30 minutes or then it's uh, it make me really angry and or in normal life when when you yeah you you go to a company and they say okay all is ready you can come and uh, and then you come to this company and nothing is ready and then i'm i'm really angry because <laughs> it's time for nothing then for me it's the uh, most important thing to have a good organization and, and when i drive to some place for nothing then it, may, it makes me really angry what makes you um, calm it means silent and relaxed. Oh, this is also easy when when, when I stay some days at home with my with my family with my wife uh, and I I do totally another things uh, go walking or biking with my wife and uh, this brings me a lot of energy and and, uh, and then. I'm, I'm uh, motivated for the next next camp, so I need this some days at home and totally switch off from the from the training. And uh, I try this, but it's it's not not uh, not every time uh, possible, especially when. When you have uh, athletes with some problems, then you think, uh, well, I think. Uh, Oh, what uh, what we can do now? What uh, what we uh, must change? What what we must organize? Uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, I think it's for a coach maybe it's it's normal that, that you think every time for this. What is your main um, idea in life? My main my my main principle is that. Uh, I hope that uh, all people around me, uh, um, oh, what's the English name, that, uh, for example, with Slava, when I'm together with Slava, I, I know that what he said to me, it's, it's, uh, it's not uh, something wrong, and, and uh, he said what he think, and uh, 
he says, uh, well, I, I don't know the English name. Yeah. Trying to explain something. Um, oh, I don't know the English name. Um, it's, easy to, it's easy to, not so easy to explain. See to in German, yeah. maybe I know this word. To be... Uh, honest. Honest. Uh, which is the yeah. mm -hmm. To right. be honest. This is my... But, uh, то есть прям разговаривать mm -hmm. прямо, mm -hmm. не держать ничего so в душе. On the uh, uh, way, 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 are you a revolution man? Uh, can you uh, take a flag and go to Barricades and start fighting? <laughs> no, <laughs> I think not. I'm not the man who take a flag and, and go in front. And and maybe I think too much uh, what is <laughs> the right way, left, right, in front. <laughs> So for me, um, first I, I, I must think what, what is the best way, this is uh, my, my way to, to become forward, to go forward. Uh, for example, you have a few day rest, what is the first thing you will do? I think for the next training camp, for the training plan. <laughs> no, when so I uh, we have a small house and uh, it's uh, I like to to do something in the garden to cut the grass and uh, look uh, around that uh, all is okay and yeah, when you have a house you know it's always something uh, to repair and uh, so this, uh, this I, I can do many hours <laughs> and uh, it's good, good for me uh, for relax. <laughs> do you like Rammstein? <laughs> what, 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 what kind of music uh, you like? I like the music from the 80s, like uh, Police, for example. I was a big fan from Police. I go to, to many concerts from this group. And, uh, yeah, it was. So this music from the 80s. I, I like, uh, so you, you spend a lot of time with Russian athletes in training camps. And what about the Russian music? Are you listen? Do you listen it? Yes, of course. So yeah, it's, uh, I think it's the same yeah, like in Germany. Yeah. Yeah. Some very, very good music. Oh, yes, some yes, music yes, I yes, think yes, uh, yes, not so yes, nice. Yes. <laughs> but but no, some uh, some interesting uh, story. Uh, we, uh, last year we do uh, some training uh, together uh, with Martin uh, Zunpi and the uh, and the gym. And our athletes hear uh, Russian uh, music. Uh, and, and now Martin Zunbi, here when he go to the gym, he hear many times Russian music because <laughs> for him it was, oh this is nice music and, and uh, now he hear in the, in the gym or for the some trainings he hear Russian music. <laughs> it was also very interesting for me. Uh, what can you say about uh, Russian um, lit literature. Russian literature, Russian uh, author of the our famous authors of literature? In this direction, I'm not so good. Uh, I know that uh, in Russian it's a very big history of good uh, literature and. Uh, but in this direction, no, I'm, I'm not so good, I yeah, must say. But I know that uh, 
also our athletes uh, uh, most of them read a yeah. uh, lot of books and they, they I'm impressed of this that they, they know a lot of, of uh, this history of, of uh, the big Russian uh, literature and uh, But uh, I'm, I'm not so, in this direction, I'm not so good. Maybe uh, to start read? Yes. But, uh, so I have problem with the Russian... Uh, with the translation? Yeah. With the, yeah, with the translation, yes. But it's... Uh, no, I start read the Russian literature mm. with the, the, the German translation? Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? This? Let's imagine that you are not a coach. Maybe what kind of person you, you see yourself? This is a good question. I don't. I when I was young, I was many the times the with. Uh, I have a good friend the at my village. I live in a small village, yeah, and uh, yeah, there yeah, I have a big farm. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I think I. I will be a farmer when I'm not yeah, become a coach yeah, because uh, I like this very much in the nature yeah, and, and the work the like area. like a farmer and uh, drive a tractor <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also <laughs> work in the forest. So in my home we have a big big forest and uh, many people uh, work in the forest. So it's uh, I think uh, I will be a farmer yeah, or work in the forest yeah, something like this. <laughs> Um, how many years uh, you plan to stay coach? Oh. <laughs> Normally I plan only uh, to, at the moment, mm -hmm. 2022. But, uh, I think uh, it's when you uh, come older and older, then it's, it's hard to have uh, enough motivation for, for bring the best for, for the athletes. So I hope I will find the right time uh, to finish. I will not, I will not uh, work as a coach when I feel, oh, first I have no motivation or I won't, don't want to travel around, so then, then I will finish 100%, so it's, uh, because then it's better for young coaches, and for example, no, I like to to learn, for uh, example, yeah, for Sergei Tulishev and before with Igor and my group. Uh, I hope they, they yeah, learn yeah, something yeah, and uh, yeah, take uh, a, a lot of good yeah. things, I hope. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. But it's important that they find yeah, their own way for a good coach. Thank you, Sean. Thank you very much. <laughs> Same for me. Good questions. <laughs>